Hi, it's Mitch here. Evolution Power Tools have sent me their new Rage 5S table saw to give my opinions on. With its folding stand, this saw is uh, very good for moving around a site or a workshop. It's light enough to just about manage into the back of a car or van. It's quick to set up quite sturdy. The base comes with these levelling feet so you should never be in a situation where you can't uh, level the saw nicely and have a, a solid base to work on. The wheels are a slight let down in that the what looks like a tyre there is actually made out of hard plastic so it isn't particularly grippy. That would be much better if it was done in rubber. The main controls are all located on the front of the saw, very easy to get to. And we can bevel the blade, obviously, up to 45 degrees. Everything works very easily. There are storage positions for things like the, the rip fence, maintenance spanners, the mains cord, mitre fence, the uh, low fence attachment, and a push stick. And they all come with it. Dust extraction from both over the blade and under it really help to keep dust levels down. Side extensions, both right of the blade and also on the left, allow for a large capacity on the tabletop. But when folded away, I mean it needn't take up all that much space. The rip fence, nice and beefy, and has perfectly parallel sides, so it's easy to attach jigs to it. Has a very positive hold here and it clamps both at the front and to the rear of the table, making it really solid. The saw comes fitted with Evolution's Rage multi-purpose blade for cutting both wood, steel, aluminium and plastics. And the saw will also take their separate blades for uh, particularly fine work in wood and for cutting ceramics and tiles and things like that. The demountable sub-fence can be really handy when you're working with very thin pieces uh, you can hold on to them close up like so rather than stretching down over the full height of the fence however it does require two bolts to be inserted through the fence which becomes quite awkward and time consuming and of course it's something else that can easily get lost when you're not using it it would be better if something could be captive within the fence and, uh, and it just attached quickly like so. The mitre fence slides really easily in the mitre slots but there is a little bit of slop on there. Uh, but I do think the use of a centre punch along the, uh, the bar will soon take that slop out. Its front face fence can be moved backwards and forwards to get up close to the blade and it also has a hold down. All of the indicators on the saw are adjustable which should mean that you can get everything set up nice and accurately so that your work can progress quickly. How does it perform? Well let's have a look. I think it's fairly obvious that um, the blade guard doesn't easily lift up and having a little look you can see that there's a, a strange shape on the moulding there and I think if we lift the blade, no matter how high we lift the blade, it's still not going to allow that piece of work through. That means you're going to be tempted to lock the guard up and then of course it's not doing its full job. So something to think about. The only other niggle I have about the machine is that the, uh, the mains cord isn't particularly long but I guess in a small workshop that doesn't really matter. So how do I rate the machine overall? 
well as the table saw goes it does pretty much everything I threw at it and uh, I've been quite impressed with it it's got a few niggles as I've shown you so it's not perfect but I think for a workshop uh, perhaps like mine uh, maybe for someone who's moving around a lot as well to get it on and off the back of a truck it's quite easy uh, I think it would really fit in quite well if you're doing lots of large jobs maybe you want to go for a bigger machine but overall it gets a thumbs up Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!